Hey, welcome to the Dark Horse Fibonacci strategy. All right, so we're gonna make this. Um, we're gonna have this video, you know, real short, and I want to do it in micro bite sizes. So what we're gonna do for this video, we're gonna look for our impulsive waves, and that is all we're gonna look for. And we're gonna pull our fibs based off those waves, and we're gonna probably mark up some zones based off of it. So for a bearish um fibonacci move we want to go from the top to the bottom and then for a bullish we're going to go from the bottom to the top so remember those rules and you got some rules up here as well so like i said bearish pull fields from the top to the bottom bullish pull fields from the bottom to the top okay coming to this market as of today we see we got a what impulse so it's an impulse wave so let's go ahead and measure this one we're going to take our Fibonacci retracement tool, bottom to the top. Okay. All right. We want to identify levels where market structure is in conjunction with the Fibs. We see here we got 50%. It's hard for you to see, so let me move it over. We got 50%, a whole lot of candles in here. We got the 61%, a whole lot of candles in there. And we got a couple in the 70, 78 we like this whole entire zone. What we want to do is we really want to look for our 61 to 78% retracement levels. Bam, we got our zones. All right. Now, let me take this off. I want to do this bearish impulsive wave down. I'm going to go from the top, take it to the bottom. And we got our key levels. You see up here, we got our 61, 70, 78. We got a couple candles that's hung out in this re region. So now we want to do this. And this would be target zone. As you can see, we have candles that actually came back up here and hit these zones. So this would have been some great trading opportunities. So we'll go over that in future videos. I want to keep some of these videos very short. So we just seen I did a bullish one and I did a bearish one. Okay, looking for our zones. All right, let's go and look at Euro USD. So what we want to do, we're on a daily, and we're just going to do a daily in this video. We're going on lower time frames on a couple other videos. We got a what? Impulse. What can we do? We can do to here. What are some of the retracement levels? These are some of the retracement levels from what? 61 through 78. You can pick other levels, but we like to stick within this. We find highest probability of setups with this. These are zones where if price decided it wanted to come back, it could come back into these areas. However, we also going to keep in mind as we go over market structure in the future, this price can respect the zone and we can push higher. So it doesn't mean the price has to come back down here. So remember that. All right, so we got that impulse. So let's look at this one. You see this drop right here? We want This is the place of origin of it. And we're going to drive it all the way down. And voila. What do you notice? Price turned around where? At the 61%. So as we get into the strategy more in the future videos, you will see what we're trying to set up and accomplish. I just want you guys to be able to Mark these up, and boom, you see that. I don't want you to try to look back at all. Like, so can we measure all this? Yes, we can, but we want to stay within range. Okay, we, we really want to stay in range. We don't want to get too broad. So you see how big this is the daily. Okay, this is going back to two thousand fourteen, April two thousand fourteen. But if I wanted to, I can measure this. This is the look. Look at this. This is the last basically major high before this collapse and what do you notice price did what come back to the what 61 percent. so you see how accurate we can be it doesn't mean that we're going to always be accurate but this is the zone that we're looking to work with and look how price came back respected that zone and drop now watch this let's get this drop we got to do what measure this impulse because this is a what a bullish impulse so we're going to take it from where the bottom to the top 
We can stretch it over if we want. What happened? Price came back, what, between the 61, 78, and it dipped lower, which you're going to get sometimes. But this is accurate in showing where price will more than likely try to pull back. Does it always mean that it's going to happen like that? Mm -mm. Why? On this chart, you can see this is another what impulse. And what did it do? It pulled back further than the 61. It kept going. It broke down. So if somebody was looking for some buying, it they never really got that. So that could happen. Okay. But I would be able to show you on lower time frames, you can see certain patterns playing out and where you would know, but, hey, this is the next area of market structure where I think I can get out at uh, based off the FIB levels. And that's what we want. Let's go look at BTC USD. And remember, all I want to do in this video is just go through and get you trained to see your FIB levels and based off um, impulse waves. Okay, so we got a nice little, we got a what, low, lower high. We got, we got a low, high, lower high, high, lower high, high, lower high, high, lower high, high. Maybe get another lower high. But regardless, this is what? Something that can be measured. We got the measurement. And we could just clearly do this. That's it. That's all we're looking for. All right, so we got that. Now, watch this. Look at this drop. Now, I like to take some of this off when I'm doing this so you guys can see it. Top to the bottom. And price is getting close. I haven't got there yet, but it's getting close to the, what, 61% retracement level. So what we could see is that we're going to get price uh, could uh, retest this area and push back up and get into this zone. Um, this is a key area for price. So we basically would be anticipating for price to come back into this zone based off those fields levels, right? Apple. So I'm just doing various charts. So you already see, you already got some zones already drawn up on here. Okay, so we got this nice little impulse right here. And if price continues to move up, all you do is just move. You know, you just move as price does until it really gives us a it it breaks and price doesn't go back up, uh, above here. Now we can just leave it alone and let it do it work. These are areas where price could possibly revisit. Using this Fibonacci. All right, let's do this. We got a nice what impulse down. We still can measure this. And of course, this uh, almost did the whole 80%. But if we were being able to trade this, we would have had an opportunity to what trade this back up into the zone for a nice little gain if we was taking out you know, option contracts or whatnot. All right, let's look at this. Look at this right here. And let's see what we got. All right, so what happened? Nice little impulse, then we get a break back down, and then what happened? We go into the 61% retracement level and between 78, and we take this off. So all I'm doing in this video is just getting you guys used to finding your impulses, finding your impulses, and then measuring them. That's it. Okay, look, this is one of the last areas before we, when we took off. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, we were right here. We pull up. This was back in March 2020. Would have had a what? Your zone. Let's 
See how price came back. So we got a nice impulse. We get pulled back to the zone. So this is buying opportunities within the zone. You look left, it's right at market structure, off to the races. So this can be uh, very accurate. Uh, you know, if you trade in this. Uh, let's see what this is. And I'm now going very far out. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. Now this is too far out. Uh, reason why? Because this was this happened over November 2016, and this is January 2019. But if you put this on your chart and you keep moving as price keeps going up, you still will have a zone. Uh, so this is what it would look like. Okay, we got this here. See how 23% is respected, and I will go over the 23% rule a second in another video. Yo. All right, see how it keeps it keeps moving as as price continues to rise or price continues to go lower you have to move your fibs with it and as we get here you see we, we got we got to move okay and so when it when it started to break this breakdown the and then you see these levels getting hit uh, now we, we look back at market structure. This is a great setup because this falls right within that area, that zone of where price action was at previously. And voila, see how it happens. So I want you to do, after watching this video, just start practicing. You can do any chart, random charts. Practice and just get a feel for it. Uh, let's look at, I don't want to do Amazon's too. Uh, let's do, what is a, maybe another, let's do AMD. So stop. Okay, AMD. All right, let's take some of this off. We're here. And this is what we currently have, and we would just do what? Between 61 and 78 percent. We want to be able to mark those are our retracement zones that we feel like if price could come back. And as you get to uh you'll be able to trade other other setups, uh, and you'll you'll start to see it, get a feel for it. But the main important thing is to go ahead and get uh understands how some of these impulses are working so we got one right here what do we do came back to the 61 percent. so you see how the 61 is lining up a lot there's a lot of area of confluence where price likes to come back to it doesn't mean it's always going to do that so never get into trading thinking that something always do it like no it's just a high probability we see right here we can find a setup okay well how will we trade this well we want to what a red candle to eliminate a green we get it right here we look take the trade short keep it simple stop loss above here this is a daily write it down structure now now that we got that out the way let's now start looking at what impulse of extensions let's get our extension levels we'll go ahead and start with this one so this was an impulse to the downside we're going to take our extension Matter of fact, let's go ahead and replay. And we're going to measure this extension. So for a bearish extension, you always start from the top, take it down to the bottom where price is have some form of support. And you take it back to where price has some form of resistance. All right, these are the, the target areas that we're looking at right here. Boom. And let's see if this plays out. Oh, I can take this off to. All right, so we had in play. Oh, yeah, it did hit. All right, so you see right here, targets what hit. I like to take my targets at the edge. Um, I never go into the box like I said before. So this target was hit. All right, now can we do one for the upside? Yes, we can. Uh, we can measure this impulse. So just because you measure impulse doesn't mean that it's going to automatically go into that direction. All right, so this could be a target if we break this zone. This is the targets that we're looking for. I like to focus on the first two targets. There are multiple targets on here, and that's longer range. 
but I like to focus on these two and I don't like to get too far out. But this is based off this impulse. This is a larger area area where price can head to. All right, let's do another bar replay and let's go about for let's do this. All right, we're, we're gonna measure this impulse. And we get more to the rules of how you can really play the impulses uh, based off. Uh, all right, let me take this off. This is the old one. All right, this is the area we were thinking price would go to based off that impulse to the upside. Okay. All right, so you see our price hit our targets based off this impulse that we have. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and not have a bias. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to act as if you... Now, look, so just because we measure something don't mean that we take the trade. So obviously, someone could have did what? Measure this impulse. See this right here? This, this impulse, I just measured it, and here's the downside target. And guess what? This could still be in play. So just because if zone is violated doesn't mean it's obsolete anymore. It still could be in play. It's just that it's just not time. This would have been a lovely one. You know why? It, it has a multiple things lined up. First of all, we've got a gap right here. Uh, if I want to, I can measure from here up to here. And that may have what set up us a uh, confluence where we have this. We have to pull back. We never broke back in this area, but this target fell right what? Between 61 and 78, it fell right in this area. So this would have been a nice, we look at it go short, come in, but of course that did not happen. Price did what? It just pushed higher. So it failed. So guess what? You have to trade zones based on what the market is giving you and what what is price doing so you don't just automatically say hey i'm gonna go short i'm just gonna hold it all the way to this area it never arrived here so that's the reality of it so don't think that just because we measure an impulse that that's where it's supposed to go okay uh let's look back okay we got an impulse right here I'm not going to do a bar replay. Save time. Oh, used the wrong one. Sorry. Impulse. Back down. See how targets hit all these areas. See how targets hitting some of the, uh, the areas further up. So this is this is long term. So I I like I like using the Fibonacci extension tool on plays. All right, such as stocks or crypto that I hold for long term, it'll allow you to see some things. So let me show you. So let's take something like um, Safe Haven. Okay, we're on a daily. So you're already seeing, I already have the levels up here. And all I have to do now is just actually mark these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark these it's all one. And then we got these level up here as well, too. And there we go. So you clearly see that this is where we're looking for price to head to based off this extension. Now, price is all the way down here. All right. So what we want to look for now eventually is some impulses to form here to get. So are these still valid? Yes, they're still valid based off this move. It's a measurement of this move. It just had price hadn't reached there yet. So what we can do, we can look at where price possibly can go based off of these impulses. So this is a temporary move. Bam. Boom. Right then. All right. So that's what we're looking for. This is a based off that zone. This is where price more likely wants to head to next i got these zones right here and i just go ahead and make this whole thing to make it simple i 
All right, so those are the target zones that we're looking for. Now, what else can we do? We can do what? We can go ahead and measure right there. And where is price? What I tell you? What, 61? You see how it's coming right back down to this area? Now, if we could have shorted this, it would have been fine. It would have been great. Okay? So I'll show you in future videos with some techniques we can use to actually trade this. All right, so I'm going to start the video with this right now. I think this is a good start. Go on your charts, start practicing, finding your waves. Okay, you want to find your what we call an impulse wave. These, the, you know, uh, where like so you see how price from right here and then it is pushed down. We can measure this. This would be your wave. Um, that's one of them. Uh, we got one up here. You press down. We do not care if you measure it wrong. It just you got to get started. You got to post it. Um, get used to it, and um, you can correct it from there. All right, so yeah, have a great day. All right, let's get at it.